If you've seen the repository manager, you can skip this section and move on to the next one. Uh, here we're going to talk about briefly what the repository manager's function is and what the interface looks like. So with that, let's take a look at the repository manager. Here we can see a screenshot, and once again, we've circled the icon for the repository manager. It is a blue R. As you can see, it's up in the upper left. Uh, we also have that icon highlighted as a pressed button here in the button bar as the blue R. So this is, in fact, the repository manager. And here we see we're logged into a specific repository. And once again, we have three different portions to the interface. We have the navigator window, uh, which shows us all of our folders, all of our mappings, uh, all of our versions. Uh, we have the uh, information window over on the right instead of a design window. In the repository manager, we don't really do design. What we check is the metadata. and We check the versions. We check the history. We look at all the different pieces of the metadata in the repository. And then, of course, we have the log area or feedback. As we talk to the repository, as we save things, as we export or import things, uh, this is uh, where we want to be. So the repository manager's function really is several fold. One of the functions of the repository manager is to import and export this metadata. So for instance, take an entire folder and all of its contents, export it to an XML file, share it with your buddies who have Informatica and reload it. That should be done in the repository manager. That's an administrative job. You can manage your folders here. You can create folders. You can set up versioning. Um, uh, if versioning is turned on, you can manage the versions in the repository. Security is your own password and so on. And then you can analyze dependencies. So the repository manager is really all about dependency chain analysis. So with that, let's take a look at the software and uh, move along to the software here. So there we go. We've got the repository manager up and running. And as you can see, I've hidden the uh, output window. And remember that these windows are undockable. You can drag them around in your interface. You can undock them. Um, you can redock them by double clicking the title bar and so on, or you can hide them by clicking some of these interface buttons. We will take you through the designer features in another lesson and uh, talk to you about how to manage the interface itself. So once again, the repository manager, we're going to configure domains, add repositories, import and export objects and metadata. Uh, we're going to focus on metadata extensions, and as you can see, we have a number of uh, extra pieces installed. We've got the flexible target key. Uh, we've got some HTTP transformations, um, the Java transformation, Java message queues, and as we go down, PWX metadata. Uh, so we've got uh, all kinds of different things available. This is where we manage our metadata. Uh, we can create and, and delete folders. We can manage folders by editing the properties of the folder. Uh, we can see what they're for. And if you have access to it, you can open it up. You can see the sources. And if you click on a source, it shows you all of the components in a tableized format. So this is the nature of the repository manager. Analyze dependencies, right? We can see the dependencies. We can search for things. Uh, and we can work with the registry. Now, Informatica, the client pieces that we mentioned before, only run on Windows. The server will run on Linux. Unix and Windows operating systems. So don't confuse the two. But the clients have their own registry. They maintain a Windows registry, which you can export and import and share with your friends if they like your settings or they like your repository or they like the way you set up your Windows. So that's what that's there for. Uh, you can run queries. Now, this is not your standard query engine. And uh, right now, we're not going to go into it. But you can run specific repository-based queries to find information, a group information together uh, for release and deployment. The other thing that we use Repository Manager for is migration from development to test to production. So with that, that brings us to the end of our Repository Manager lesson. Um, and we will see you in the next lesson talking about ODBC and the nature of ODBC and the designer.